What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical. I'm here at Team USA. Uh, I don't know if you can see this right here. I'll lift it up for but you. We're, we're at the Team USA booth, and we've got a medalist in the Paralympics. This is amazing. We're going to talk a little bit about the Olympics. We're going to talk about women and shooting. Hey, everybody. My name is uh, McKenna Dahl. I'm a 2016 Paralympic bronze medalist in 10-meter uh, air rifle. Uh, when I was uh, a little kid, I actually attended a day camp for kids with disabilities. And the purpose of this camp was to uh, just introduce us to the outdoors. Anything that he could adapt, this uh, disabled veteran wanted to do that for us. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, one morning the older kids got to go shooting and the younger kids had the chance to go bowling. So, you know, when I was finally the big kid, got to go <laughs> yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, go shoot. <laughs> got to go shoot with my, uh, my best friend. And At what age did you have, get to move up to? Um, I was 12. 12, you got to go to the gun? All right, awesome. Got to go from bowling to the shooting range. <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> uh, so my best friend and I, uh, we turned 12 the same year, got to go, go out with this camp. And we got to shoot a 22 on an outdoor range. And we were very competitive people. And we made the morning a little competition between the two you of gotta us. You got to do it. So tell us about, uh, from taking it from 12 years old at a camp, shooting a 22 how you got into I know you're competitive but how did you get into competitive shooting and then have dreams of maybe the Olympics that's a cool story so the disabled veteran early Ernie Butler who uh, ran this camp he was in, involved with the NRA and he actually hosted a 10 meter air rifle match oh, wow. okay. through the, uh, the disabled sectional with, yeah through the NRA that's and great. Uh, he invited me to come shoot this match because he knew how much I had enjoyed, you know, the shoot morning of shooting right. at the camp. Um, so I practiced every Saturday for a month, about you know, a couple hours <laughs> <laughs> back then. Was, that was a lot of training. That's, that's but, a lot of training. Right? At the match, you know, at the end of the month, I actually. I don't know if we always talk about it, but I ended up uh, beating him in the match. If you're out there watching. <laughs> I'm sure she's beat a lot of people in her lifetime, so don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> when you go from 12 years old, was it a quick, you know, did you figure out really quick that I'm actually really good at this? For me, it was a quick transition. Um, the period of time between the camp and trying my first match was about eight months. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And then the first camp that I had tried, it was January to December, I was at the Olympic Training Center. That's crazy. And it was... You know, that's like a, I said, I was ride. in awe. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, my parents, my dad, my grandpa, and you know Ernie, they were just huge in getting me started in the sport and really encouraging you know follow all of my dreams. And uh, after this disabled sectional, um, the Paralympic coach at the time, Bob Foth, had uh, gotten a hold of my name and had invited me to a Paralympic camp oh, that wow. he was hosting at right. the Olympic Training Center. In, uh, how's, how's the training center? Is it amazing? It is amazing. Absolutely I can't only, amazing. I can only imagine how something that I mean it's it's gotta be just mind numbing when you walk in and see all the stuff that they've got it for is. you to practice with, man. Yeah, the first couple times I was there I was just in awe, yeah. you know, got to see all these amazing athletes walking yeah. around and uh, now the role has kind of switched a little bit because I'm one You're of the, the athletes. There, yeah. I live there. So yeah. Oh, you do? I do. I'm oh, a resident wow. athlete on Complex. Yeah. When you're not specifically trained for you, what all does that entail? Do you have groups that come in or, or do you train people that are there that come in and practice or what is all that? So each, there's a lot of different sports that are housed on Complex. Okay. Um, so everyone ha kind of has their own schedule. Everyone gotcha. brings in camps that go on oh, so you pretty can bring, much non-stop. You can set up your own and schedule your own. Through the organization, right. but yes. That's so great. we have Paralympic camps that usually run about once a month. That's great. Yeah. So you said your mom and dad were very, very supportive they were. with this whole thing. Now, are they gun people? I mean, were they into guns? Did they shoot themselves or? My dad has always been a hunter. Um, there you go. So I personally have not hunted myself. I'm looking forward I'm, to the I don't opportunity hunt, yeah. to do yeah, so. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he had knowledge of guns. My grandpa was also an avid hunter. And I think they wanted it to be something that I, you know, they introduced me. They didn't want to push you too hard, But though. they didn't push me yeah. into it. They wanted to be, they wanted it to be something that I found and well, I think that that's, I think that that's something that's, um, if you push a child or a kid to something, sometimes they move away from that. So I think it's really good. They just kind of let you find your own feet, your own path. So if you have kids in your camp, 
I'm sure that you might be their first exposure to the shooting world, maybe. I and, very well could And then be. you could be molding the next generation of shooters. That's pretty, that's a pretty awesome, no offense, but that's a pretty awesome task. It is, know? and it's something that I'm absolutely interested in. Uh, we actually, at the Olympic Training Center, we have a junior club that runs uh, Monday and Thursday nights. That's awesome. So, you know, when I have the chance, I love to walk down and, you know, coach them, talk to them, ask them, you know, about their personal lives, you know, how's school going, right. you know, good friend group. That's um, awesome. Really just encourage them to, you know, follow their passion. I've, I've always wondered why there weren't more women and, and girls at, at different ages involved in the shooting community. And being that you started at 12 years old, but you're now in the spotlight of the shooting world, is there something that you could give advice to the young girls or young women, young adults that may be interested in firearms or shooting competitively, but don't know how to start? They may be intimidated, they might be scared. Is there something that you could give advice to? Is it just going out and shoot, find someone to go out and shoot? Is, that, is it as simple as that? It or are there resources that you know of that maybe help someone to transition into it? So usashooting.org is actually our uh, the website that we have, and we have locate a club um, okay, as one of our drop down menu items. So anyone you know within the states can you know put in their city and see what is available awesome. in their area, which I think is absolutely key um, to the success of the next generation. The goal is to get more women into shooting and then maybe they become the next generation of instructors and then they mold the next generation and then it's just a it's cyclical and yeah. that, that whole umbrella starts to widen but uh the ken has been great to here and talk to us um thank you so much for all that you do for the community um the paralympics is is something that a lot of people don't see or hear a whole lot of about uh they typically are the week after the regular olympics correct yes okay so uh we actually watch it quite a bit and um so it's, it's, it's very remarkable to sit there and say, look, if you have something that people say can hold you back in your life, we're proof that it doesn't have to. So uh, this is an awesome. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you. I really appreciate and I hope, it. I hope that we can get more women out there shooting. Hey, strive for your dreams. You can become an Olympic medalist as well. This right here, guys, this is something that changes lives. And, and McKenna is a great role model. So go check her out. And uh, go to her classes. If you're around where she's going to be at the training center, go take one of her classes and, and go learn from an Olympic medalist. And in the description below, guys, will be web links, social media links, all that we need to do. Uh, go check them out. It's teamusa.org. And usashooting.org. And usashooting.org. And uh, go check them out and, and get out there and shoot, guys. It's the next generation. You guys are the future. So go get out there and shoot. And uh, maybe one day you'll be an Olympic medalist as well. For more information about Team USA and USA Shooting, as well as finding out more about McKenna's and other athletes' camps and training, please check out www.teamusa.org and www.usashooting.org. Thank you, as always, for watching. Simplify.